Okay, here's the result of the weekend's work. The uh, frame is installed. I'm going to do one more application of kitty hair along the front right here. I did put holes along the bottom of the frame to hold everything in. It's a combination of kitty hair and I've got this Gorilla Glue that clamps wood to metal very, very well. You can see it right here. But you have to clamp it in order for it to do its thing. But as long as you clamp it and leave it sit for an hour, it's uh, I'd have to break it to get it apart. But So now the last thing I have to do is pull these two bolts, pop the top bar off, pull the frame out, take that apart, take these two bars. See how smooth that travels? Take those two bars in and put the hole in them, 7 30 seconds hole, to match the posts on the trunnion. And then the whole thing will go in. I got it marked for height. Goes in like that. And then we'll have traverse and elevation. Not a lot of downward, uh, what would you call that? Declination, the opposite of elevation. Um, I'm still looking at servo control. The servos still aren't here, and that's a problem. But I did pick up, and can't find, I picked up a pull pull servo system, uh, cable system. I'm thinking about uh, when I unbolt this to drill the holes, thinking about putting two pieces of like 20 thou brass stock in there with a hole in it for that bolt to pass through and then another hole to attach to the cables. Mount the servo right here. There's so much room in the hatcher that would be a very good place. It would hang down in front of the motor. I got like four inches of clearance in front of the motor right there. And uh, then it, it would work by cable attached to two points on the um, frame to give traverse. Making any sense? Here's the servo cable kit. This, let me see what we can do here. Okay, this comes with everything I need to attach. Does that make the idea clear? Mount the servo right here with cables to handle traverse. As for elevation, I'm still not sure. I've still got to get the other barrel on the front and lose the muzzle on the paintball barrel and then figure out where my center of gravity is going to be. And if I, you know, I might need some kind of spring assist. I don't know. We'll have to see. But the frame is in and it's mounted and it's not coming out. It's, uh, I'm quite satisfied with the uh, way it's mounted. So next will be drilling the holes and then I did come up with I think I've got the feed system figured out that's a very close fit right there which was by design okay with the paintball can sitting about like that I've got this tube okay I've already checked it the paintball rolls down it like a dream no problem and a copper elbow that I'll have to adapt for the gun and I think that will run up to this door back here for feed I think at least 10 paintballs should fit in there I can make it so it's easy to reload um, but that had been a concern because I'm not gonna have once I've got something in there for the paintball it's gonna limit my traverse I get to maybe right there so I'll only get like 15 on one side about the same on the other but that's okay, man. If I get 20 degrees total, 10 degrees in each direction for traverse, I'll call it a success. My elevation is going to be pretty much just limited by where the barrel hits the top of the opening. You know, it'll definitely get good elevation. But I think we're on the right track. That's where we're at for now. We'll see what happens this week at work and how much I get done and what happens next weekend. We'll soldier on. See you next time.